Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing kind of a hybrid video of a new in slash beauty haul. I used to do new in videos every single month and I stopped and I'm not entirely sure if I might bring them back. I don't know. Would you guys like to see that? Is that something you think needs bringing back? I feel like I kind of miss doing them in a way. It was like a kind of news piece in terms of like what's coming out in the beauty world every month. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. But this is going to be kind of a hybrid of the two. So a little bit of haul, a little bit of a new in. There's a few things that I've bought and a few things that I've been sent. I'll tell you which is which as we go along. I will link everything down below. Um, if I have discount codes available, I will also give you those because I do have a few that will work for a few of these products as well. Let's get started. So starting off with hair stuff because I feel like I've got a disproportionate amount of hair stuff. First up, the Color Wow Dream Filter. I ordered this via Cult Beauty. I absolutely love their Dream Coat, their blow dry spray. And this is supposed to be a kind of color enhancing pre-shampoo treatment. For picture perfect hair, pre-shampoo mineral remover filters out color destroying minerals found in tap water that dull, darken and distort color, unveiling brighter color. Sounds good to me as someone who has like not issues but like I color my hair the color fades it goes brassy I live in an area with quite hard water as well so I feel like this might make a difference to me I hadn't heard anyone speak about it but I'm not gonna lie the before and afters were savage of this <laughs> the stuff that they film coming off the hair like the color of it is quite something and the before and afters were pretty impressive so I'll let you guys know if I get on well with this and we will see what happens like I said the dream coat is really good so I have high hopes for that I also ordered this, which is from Drunk Elephant. This is their TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. I recently went away with Drunk Elephant and I actually, I knew they did hair stuff, but I didn't know they did a scalp scrub. Honestly, I am really excited to try this. I have issues with my scalp, dryness, and just irritation. I love the Drunk Elephant um, acid products for the face. So I feel like it might be a good try for my hair. I'm kind of nervous about it because anything new that I use on my hair, I get a bit nervous about. I'm not entirely sure what the texture of this is gonna be like, whether it's scrubby or whether it's like just acid exfoliation. I feel like the fact that it's called a scrub, it's gonna be, oh yeah, it is scrubby. It is a little scrubby, but it's not aggressively scrubby. You know, some scalp scrubs I feel like are hugely like, like they leave a residue in your scalp, like big chunks of apricot kernel or whatever. I have high hopes for it, like I said, because I do love the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial and the um, Glycolic Serum, so nice. So I have high hopes for this one. Next up, what else am I talking about? Oh, this one was, was one that I was sent. This is from Orbe and it's their Bright Blonde Radiance and Repair Treatment. So this is the latest in their um, Bright Blonde range, which is this kind of corally color. I absolutely love the oil from this range. It's like a styling oil that has like a purple tint. I really like it. So this is again, a color and conditioning treatment. I have a feeling and I have high hopes that it's gonna be similar to the Purology one. First impressions, it's a lot more purple than the Purology one. I'm not adverse to a very purple toning product though. Um, we'll give it a go, see what it's like. Orbe is a very pricey brand, but one that I absolutely love. I feel like their styling products are fairly incomparable in terms of performance. They're so, so good. Their wet products are a little bit hit and miss at times. Like generally speaking, all of the styling products I've tried from them, I love. The wet products I like, but sometimes I'm like, are they gonna be worth the money? So I will let you guys know on this one because um, if you do spend a lot of money coloring your hair blonde, and it goes brassy. It's kind of one of those things where even if you don't spend a lot of money on expensive styling products or whatever, like really good products that are gonna take that brassiness back out are worth the money because they're gonna help you maintain that look for longer. Especially if you're not go going to the hairdressers every kind of six to eight weeks because for root touch-ups, like I have like blended roots so I don't have to go to the hairdressers that often. I don't wanna be going just because it's looking brassy, you know, anyway. Next up, two Brody products. Again, one that I was sent from Neom, which is the Real Luxury Wellbeing Soak with lavender, jasmine, and sandalwood. I feel like Neom was a brand that I didn't really get until I got their diffuser before Christmas, and now I'm crazy for it. I love it, I absolutely love it. And this is right up my street. It's basically a bath oil, a multivitamin bath oil. And it reminds me of some of the Aromatherapy Associates bath oils, which I've loved for years. 
I can't wait to use this. It smells super relaxing. Perfect bedtime bath oil. It's, like I said, I'll let you know how I get on with that as well because it's quite pricey. I feel like it's about £42, but bath oils do tend to be on the higher end, especially if they're using like high concentration of essential oils, etc. Next up, a little mention of this because I did a collaboration with Wild um, Deodorant this month and... It was only for the deodorant, but they have this collaboration with Choose Love. And I'm not gonna lie, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I actually didn't mention this, which is the shower gel case in my stories. I've used their shower gel quite a lot actually, and they have the refillable. So you buy it in the plastic free, if I can get it out, refillable tubs like that. And then you just screw them in. But how cute is this case? I love it, so cute for the bathroom. Um, their shower gels are actually really nice as well. Next up, a few new releases from YSL actually, all of which I've been sent, which I'm really excited about. Firstly, a waterproof version of Lash Clash. You guys probably know by now how much I love Lash Clash mascara, it's so good. YSL waterproof mascaras are usually good, I usually do rate them, but waterproof mascara in general can be a little bit hit and miss. So I'll see how I get on with this like the packaging with the blue, makes it really obvious that this is the waterproof version, which I like because a lot of the time, I only want waterproof mascara when I need to be waterproof. So um, yeah, you know, occasions where I might cry, get dunked in the pool, get caught in the rain, things like that. Um, I will be trying this out because I love the original. Next up, a couple of other launches. They've just released powder. So they've done the all hours hyper finish hyaluronic acid powders which I love the all hours range I love the foundation I love the concealer this is the powder and it reminds me of the by Terry hyaluronic powder in terms of like having hyaluronic acid in a powder it seems a little bit confusing to, to your brain because you're like mm, powder is like mattifying not necessarily hydrating but you want it to be hydrating. I don't love powder normally, so this excites me because I don't want a dry face. I want a hydrated face. This is the color I have, which is 03. Um, I'm, I think I have a brush here. Should we try it out? I haven't actually used this yet. The packaging is very luxe. It feels quite plastic heavy is the only criticism of it. I wish they did a refill because this doesn't feel like something you'd want to throw away when you were done with it. Although perhaps because it's got the matte, it won't last that well. But look at this, it's so gorgeous and luxe. I feel like it needs to be refillable really. So the texture is very, very smooth. It is similar to that um, by Terry one that's like almost like a glide on. And then, oh yeah. Oh my God, it has the YSL smell as well, which I love. They've had that smell for years and years. And I used to buy their gift with purchase. Well, I got the gift with purchase when I was a teenager. I used to go in and make sure that I bought the stuff to get the gift with purchase. You remember those bags and the little ones? They still do them, but I don't know if YSL specifically do them a lot. They used to do them a lot. Um, and I just, all of their skincare smelled so good. And I would never be able to afford to buy the actual skincare but the samples that you would get from like buying Touche Eclat and whatever else I got, I used to keep them like for such a long time, like treasure them, they smell so good. I actually really, really like that. I do actually have powder on already, so I feel like I'm caking it on, but I really like the texture of that. And they've also launched bronzers. Again, the shade I have is O2. I'm not a big fan of the brown, not gonna lie. Not a massive fan of that brown color on there for the bronze, but this is shade O2, which actually is quite light for a bronzer. Not sure how many shades. Oh no, that's good. I like that. It's not too orange, but it's not necessarily like a contoury kind of color either. But it's not that like really orangey bronze. Oh, I like that. Looks like I've just been on holiday. What do we think? I really like that. I've got so much makeup on now. It's outrageous. It smells great when you're putting it on, which is always a bonus. Yeah, I like those a lot and I don't love powder. So that's saying something. Next up, a few lip products. First one is from Ulla Henriksen. It's their Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I don't think this is actually new, but it's new to me. I got it as part of a, can't get it out of the box, a Valentine's, whoa, there we go. Now it shoots out of the box. A Valentine's Day send out from Cult Beauty. And actually the packaging is super cute. And I did try it last night and I really like it. It has like a slight orangey coral tone to it. And I can't work out the taste. Is it grapefruit? It's fruity and it's nice. And the color is actually really, really good. I, I'm just not that bothered with lip products at the moment. I feel like I go in and out of phases with what I'm loving, but at the moment for me, it's all about like gloss and balm 
and I love this. I love the colour, I love the taste, I love the texture. Really nice, cute packaging. It's blood orange. Blood orange spritz. It's basically Aperol spritz flavoured. No wonder I like it. It's good though, would recommend. And lastly, the La Mer Lip Perfector, I think it's called, no, Lip Volumizer. I have spoken so much about the La Mer Lip Balm. It's pricey, but it's so good. And it, I, like, honestly, it's been a go-to for me this last six months, especially because my lips have been so bad. Finally, they're starting to like relax a little bit. Anyway, they've just released, I think they had this product in one color before, like a kind of milky pink kind of color. It was basically clear. And they've just released a few shades. I'm not actually gonna put it on my lips. I was wearing it before I put this on. I feel like I'm gonna have too much if I put it all on. But it's basically, this is the darkest one. They're very, very sheer. So for that reason, I actually thought that this was the best one to go for because um, it's actually like a really nice, like light berry flush rather than being um, the color of the tube, which is very purple. Honestly, like the texture of these, so smooth, so kind of nourishing and hydrating, but they actually stay on for a really long time as well. And that's what I love about the lip balm is you put it on and it stays for a few hours. Like it's so good. And it's the same with this. Pricey, but really, really good. And lastly, something that I bought is an absolute throwback. Like this reminds me of early YouTube days, 2012 vibes. I actually bought these from Amazon. You used to be able to get these from a company called, I think they were called like Travelo or something like that. I can't remember. Um, and they're quite expensive, but actually you can get them on Amazon. I got a pack of three, I think it was 350 or something like that, basically a pound each. And what I've been doing is decanting my perfumes that have massive bottles into these and then I can take them around and I don't forget to use them. I can spray them on. I put um, Erin's Ambrette de Noir in the black one and I'm not gonna lie, I'd forgotten how much I love this fragrance. It's like a hug. It's like a warm hug as Olaf would say. It is a warm hug and in the yellow one I put Dr. Vrange Rosso Nobile, which I have as a fragrance as well as a home fragrance, but the fragrance itself I don't use very much because the bottle is like so, it's like a tankard, it's so heavy that it's not something I would ever take with me if I was traveling or going to an event. I feel like this one might be leaking a bit because I can really smell the fragrance, which is, I mean, it's great. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rub it on my ribs, ribs, on my wrists, <laughs> on my ribs. I'm just gonna rub it on my ribs. It's so heavy, you just wouldn't take it with you anywhere. But in this, so handy, love the fragrance. These are just, yeah, I love it, I love it. I've got like minis of everything. And in this one, I put my Fugazi Cash Flower, which is my new fragrance that I had. I think I put it on my Instagram and maybe in my monthly favorites this month. Really love it and just love that brand in general. It smells so good. Um, that is it for this little mini haul new in video. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you would like to see new in again, if that's something that you would like to have back. Let me know, because yeah, I'm thinking about it. Anyway, hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Jazz hands. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I wave like this. It's just weird.